have a quick thought for you. In regards to concealed carry of a firearm, the things that you need to understand and you need to expect is that you're going to have to completely dress around your gun. Like for example, what I'm wearing minus all this sun gear up here. Um, what I'm wearing is what I wear out on the streets. Blue jeans, ultra running shoes because they've got a very wide toe box and um, long sleeve 2XLT tall. Look guys, don't want to hear any complaints about Nike. The reason I wear these is so far I've not found any other manufacturer out there that actually makes a tall shirt properly. I'm tall and I need a tall shirt and I need length for the sleeve but more importantly I need length on the body so that it conceals my firearm. It has to hang properly otherwise it creates um, sticking issues around your firearm that just print and that make them become an issue. And while printing for the most part is not that big of a problem, I prefer to have a very neat trim appearance so that when people see me, they just sort of glance at me and ignore me. Um, but the things that have to be understood about carrying a firearm is it is uncomfortable. There's, um, there's a saying in regards to slings, all slings suck, some just suck less than others. Well, all holsters suck, some just suck less than others. Um, there is nothing comfortable about wearing a firearm. However, if you get the right holster, you can make it suck less. Okay? I carry the Bravo Concealment. I, I use the Bravo Concealment drop out of sight torsion for my Glock 19. This is a holster that I have now been running for a couple of years now. No, I'm sorry, no. No, the torsion I've had for just less than a year. I've been running their drop out of sight, but I finally got a torsion and uh, love it because it cants the gun in a little bit um, and it keeps it tight against my body. But um, wearing a firearm, guys, it gets old. Oh man, it gets old, especially, especially wearing a firearm appendix carry because it digs right into this area here. Um, when you're seated and you're driving, you have to kind of move it over and sort of cant the gun over a little bit sometimes or even cant it this way depending on you know, how you're sitting in the, in the driver's seat. There's no comfortable way to do this. Um, I carry a couple of 21 rounders from Magpul in my jeans, which I have modified to carry mags. Um, I don't like wearing a gun. I hate it. I, frankly, I hate it. Uh, probably because I carried a gun when I was a police officer as part of my life. So for, for me, the coolness factor of being armed left me a long time ago. And, and, I, and you know what? And here's a... Here's a great heads up for all of you out there because the, the universal human condition is to somehow think that your thoughts are original and you're the only one. So let me kind of fill you in on some of this stuff. I struggle almost daily with, eh, do, I, do I leave the gun in the car? Do I wear the gun? Um, you know, do I, do I want to go through the hassle of having this thing on me? And obviously what it comes down to is this. If you don't have that gun on you, uh, Colonel Grossman put it really well. If you, if you have the ability to have had a gun on you and you chose to leave it in the vehicle and something bad happens, you will never forgive yourself for not having had that gun on you. It'll be compounded ten times over if one of your family members or a loved one gets hurt. All because you had a life-saving tool the ability to have a life-saving tool on your person but you chose to leave it at home or you chose to leave it in the car. Wearing a gun sucks. Especially at this time of the year where it's hot. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. I wear this whenever I'm out and about. I have three of these shirts in black, three of these shirts in kind of like this grayish green. They call it spruce. Um, that's what I'm wearing all season long without deviation. It's gonna be black or it's gonna be spruce. It's gonna always be jeans. It may or may not be a ball cap. It may sometimes be a ball cap or a hat, but it will always be long sleeve. I hate it. It sucks, I hate it. But I need proper sun coverage and I need proper coverage of the firearm. You'll notice, I have, those of you who know me, those of you who have, uh, meaning that you've been watching my channel long enough, you know how huge I used to be, okay? I have now shed enough weight that I can conceal a Glock 19 and two magazines 
and not have to suck my gut in to do so. I am heavily armed with everything that I need to put down an active killer. I don't have to run anywhere to go get it, it's right here. But it is a colossal pain in the hip. Because frankly it actually makes my left hip hurt, having the gun pressing in here constantly. And those of you who are going to tell me, oh, move it around to the side. Guys, I've already moved it here. If I move it here, it gets in the way of my extra mag. If I move it slightly forward, it really makes the outer part of my hip hurt. If I move it further back, it makes my sciatic hurt. Those of you who are 20-something-year-old, 20-something-year-old, uh, just wait a little bit. It'll catch up with you. When I talk to my buddy Dave Spaulding, he says, I hate wearing a gun. It makes my hip hurt. Dave, I'm with you, man. I'm there. I hate it. There are some times where the pain from, have that, from constantly having that compression against my body will wake me at night. And that is really irritating when you're woken up at night by a pain that's being caused by a weapon that you're carrying for the preservation of life. But it's a sacrifice that I will continue to make to make sure that I'm ready to end the fight and to make sure that I'm ready to defend you. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Have a good day. Get those guns out in practice.